Hello, I'm Daniel, and uh, welcome to my uh, channel. Uh, we are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, information, guidance, advice. And I want to tell a story, another story, about um, um, Rabbi Isaac, Isaac of Kalev. It's told that um, he, uh, Rabbi um, uh, Isaac Isaac, um, once spent the Shabbos in a nearby village at, as a guest of one of the Hasidim who were there. Well, it came time to uh, receive the Sabbath, Kabbalah Shabbos, and they were just about to start. Someone suddenly screams. A servant rushes in and cries at the barn in which the grain was stored was on fire. A fire had started in the barn. Now, the owner, of course, wanted to rush out and see what was going on. But uh, Rabbi Isaac, uh, Rabbi uh, Isaac Isaac, took hold of his arm. And he said, uh, stay. I want to tell you a story. And the, owner, and the homeowner is worried. He says, you want to tell me a story? He says, yes. I want our master, uh, Rabbi Zusha of Anapol was young. He stoked the stoves, and by, I don't mean the stove like a cooking stove, like the Franklin stoves, the heating stoves. He stoked the stoves of the great Magda Mezric. This duty was usually assigned to the youngest um, of the disciples. Their job was to make sure that the, the heating stove was uh, full of wood. And Have you ever been in a cabin or anything that had one of these little Franklin stoves? It needs tending. Well, one time, Rabbi Zusha was uh, saying Psalms, the book of Psalms, with great fervor, with great kavana, just before the coming of the Sabbath, just before uh, it's time to, to greet the Sabbath. He's, uh, he's davening, he's uh, praying, he's, he's reciting the Psalms with, with great spiritual intent. And he was startled by screams from within the house. Sparks had fallen from the heating stove, which he had filled with wood. And since no one happened to be in the living room at the time, it started a fire. Zusha, he was uh, reproached. There's a fire. There's no matter. Is it not written in our holy Torah? And the fire abated? It's the from the book of Numbers, chapter 11, verse 2. And the fire abated. At that very same moment, the fire abated. It went out. The Rabbi of Kalev fell silent. The Chassid, with whom he still was holding on by the arm, did not dare move. A moment passed, and someone called in through the window that the fire in the barn had gone out and the fire had abated. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines of uh, stories of the Hasidim and other great uh, uh, stories and lessons. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.